more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Fly Eagles fly. As a great linguist by the name of Jay-Z once said, people don't get the picture until the weapons are drawn. I've been ranting and raving about this cat Eli Rick since the birds got him as an undrafted free agent out of Alabama. Because I covered that man since high school, going into college, his first year of college when he was at LSU, and he was the goods. His technique is just too polished. He is one of these guys who was a prodigy type at the position. I'm not sure what went on his last couple of years, and it's specifically his last year at Alabama. But it does not matter as he is here making plays. He's the one making plays when people talk about some of these ballyhoo corners like Akili Ringo. To me, he looks way far advanced than Akili Ringo, despite what athleticism or time track speed might say. That has nothing to do with football. This has something to do with football. Look at my man right here, right? He's going to open the gate on this drone right here, take outside leverage. We can't see it, but you'll see him driving right there, and look at it. Inside arm, making a PBU against Anthony Richardson in the coach right there, right? This is how they teach you. That's how they taught us, right? Straight up. Coach would always say it. Look at that right there. Dick to hips. Got to pause that. I would cringe every time he would say that, but I understood what he was saying. Right? Dick to hips right there. Go through it with that inside arm. Right, You would impede someone's progress or possibly get a pass interference, or you would take yourself out of the play trying to do it with your dominant arm or your right arm right there. Nope, inside arm, make that PBU transition with the receiver. He's the one out there making the plays. And then look, he's multi-talented. He also shows that he could be a male exotic dancer as well. So he has that going for himself if he doesn't make the team. But real talk, if he doesn't make the team, he's going to make somebody's team because he put a lot of good film out here on the preseason. And it's going to make it hard on people, right? You got a Josh Job there, right? Another guy who's very talented there. Like I said before, Ringo, a Makai Gardner. Then, of course, you have Slay and Bradbury. You got Josiah Scott, Anthony Maddox, and all these guys at the cornerback. But that's a lot of cornerbacks. So we shall see how it shakes out. But to me, he's been the best in this preseason. All right, here we go. Another one, this time of the vert variety. So this guy's getting vert on him. Pretty stout receiver right here. Tries to go through Ricks. Look at the chicken fighting stage right there, right? <laughs> Look, chicken fighting stage pushing him off his spot. He doesn't panic at all. He turns, flips those hips, right? He didn't have to speed turn. <laughs> Dumbest shit in the world. Speed turn. But look, stay in the hip pocket right there. What I don't like about this is he didn't necessarily turn to locate. But what he does is what they were taught at Alabama is not necessarily turn and locate. Sometimes if you figure not in position, you play the ball through the man. So when he gets that, you wake through those hands right there, play the ball through the man, and it works out for him. Textbook cornerback play, playing it with your mind. Once he got into that chicken fighting stage, you can see the strength there. And look, you're not outrunning him. Right? People look at a 40-yard dash time and they think that's the indoor be-all. Right? Those are people who never played the game before. right? And those are people who never exotic dance before because my man keeps ending up doing that same dance right there. What are we doing here? Eli Ricks is that dude. All right, I feel like everybody's going to try to jump on this train now because I was trying to tell people. Stop worrying about a 40 time. This guy can defend any route. He's going against Michael Pittman here, who is a plus starter in the league, right? And, of course, Anthony Richardson has an arm, but what are you going to do right here? He's leaving you no room to throw. Check this out right here. Coming off the joint, gives him a free release. Richardson shoots it down the field. Where is it going? Over his head, right? We know Pittman. He can get downfield. But, look, Ricks is way in his hip pocket, very much so like the previous game. Uh, where it was a back shoulder fade, and uh, he needed some new spikes, man, because he was slipping and sliding all over the place in that game right there. But you see right there, man, he's right in Pittman's hip pocket. Pittman tries to push off and everything. There's nothing he can do to get to this pass, right? Pass was overthrown anyway, which is very typical of a, of a Anthony Richardson deep ball there. But if you can see from his perspective, he did his job. He being Eli Ricks. Those, that's some tight-ass coverage. All right, I'm going to tack on those other two film studies and make this a compilation here so people can see what he's been doing the entire preseason if you haven't been keeping up with the first two drawings I did. Check this one out right here. You get a banjo release, right? You, you get a banjo coverage on this switch release. So you'll get the 
top guy right here, right, who's on the inside, he'll end up going outside towards Eli Ricks and running an in-breaking route, and then you get the outside guy. He comes on the inside. So you get that right there. And Eli Ricks plays this to perfection. Worried about the, only the guy who comes in his area there, and then he's right on it. Leaves him nowhere to go with that. Sam Elliger pocket was collapsing on him anyway, but really nothing to do it right here. He had nowhere to go with this. Eli Ricks all, all right, over if this. If you're new to the channel, you have to make sure you subscribe. But you also have to know that my analysis, right, is rooted in covering college football. College and high school football uh, the past 10 seasons, right? So the past 10 years I've been doing that. So a lot of these guys I've covered in high school uh, working their way all the way up through college. And one of the guys that I first – did a video on here for the Eagles was Eli Ricks. I could not believe Eli Ricks went undrafted. Eli Ricks is a first round talent. If you had to tell me who would be the most talented cornerback out of all of these guys, right? Not named Bradbury and Slay, it would be Eli Ricks. Even over Josh Job, over Keeley, Ringo, all of these cats. Eli Ricks is the deal. So I don't know what went on with Alabama. That was a weird, that was a weird situation there. But at LSU, especially as a freshman, oh, my God, he looked like a top 10 pick. To me, he's still that same dude. Check this drawing out right here. Now, I'm so mad as hell we didn't get a replay on this one, right? But you can see, we'll, we'll run it first, right? You can see, right? Look at the pedal. Look at the pedal coming about that break. And then, oh, my God. Look at him drive on the ball right there, man. Damn, I wish we had a better angle of this because this is some good work. First of all, getting depth, right? Off-man coverage here. Off man coverage, right? Well, it's it's looks like it's more of a zone. You can see him with eyes on the quarterback as well, which is dangerous if you're somebody like Anthony Brown throwing a curl route or or whatever this is meant to be right here. I can't tell until they come up out the break right there. But he's squatting on that with great foot energy and peering at the quarterback. You throw this drawing right here, yeah, it like it been a, a curl. I don't know what the hell that is right there, but he ran that receiver, ran that route for that receiver, in my opinion, and jumps that bad boy. Oh, that is absolutely nasty. Eli Ricks can run. Uh, he has the size. He has the agility. Uh, a lot of things that a lot of these other guys don't necessarily have as a complete package. Pause. All right, here we go again. Off man coverage. Oh, my. Oh, Anthony Brown couldn't have been serious doing that right there. What are we doing? Let's look at it from this direction right here. Look at that. Low in his pedal. Oh, I love that. Low in his pedal. Get even lower coming up out of that for a cat. Six, one, six, two, or whatever he is right there. That's some great dexterity right there. Chicks at Club Onyx ain't getting that low. Let's get it. Look at that man. Oh, look at the choppy steps allow him to come up out that break. And my man telegraphed the hell out of this out route. Right in, he rounded it off. No, sir, re Bob, look at that. Come on, man. He had a little LOL at the end as well. <laughs> he got Anthony Brown. <laughs> he he eyed down Anthony Brown the entire way. Anthony Brown's like, look, if I don't, if I don't look, it didn't happen. He's like, I'm gonna go ahead and head it home right now. Anthony Brown, he ran all the way to Light Street. <laughs> all the way to Light Street in downtown Baltimore. <laughs> he was like, fuck it. <laughs> Come on, man. I right, not to bag on Keely Ringo, but uh, it was times covering him at Georgia, which I did all three of his years and some of his last bit of high school, right, going into that camp season where I got a chance to see him work uh, work out in, in camps and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes his tackling can be a little shoddy. What's this? <laughs> That's only one of the reasons what keeps me when we're thinking about safety is that he's very inconsistent in his tackling, and it's something I've pointed out plenty of times, so don't come here with that Ringo sexual shit from back in the day right there because I'm just covering football here, right? But I was this attack. I don't understand what he, what he's trying to do right here. And thank God your boy Justin Evans on the cleanup, right? Oh, all EMT team that time right there, man. Woo, shit. All right, here we go. One-on-one -on -one with Dev Duve here, my man Devin Duvernay. And he's not competitive with this particular route. Check this out. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I've seen that too many times at the University of Georgia on shorter routes with transitions. Sometimes he's just not that competitive. Look at that. No foot energy here. I would be chopping my feet or something. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. He's absorbing 
his energy right here, right? It's going to be a transfer of energy right here once he sticks that foot in the ground because that dude's already in motion and you're flat-footed. And as fast as he is, he's not the quickest right out of the gate. He has long speed. His short area quickness, 0 to 60 type, is it not going to mess with somebody like a Dev Duvernay who's just a quicker person? And look at that, man. He gets that late pandemic separation on a damn back shoulder fade. And I know these these routes are, are, are tough to cover. There's no doubt about that. If you've ever covered them, they are tough to cover. But you can do yourself more of a service by having that foot energy and trying to decrease the space or having a plan. Is this inside leverage? Or if you're playing with inside leverage, I would – much rather kind of play with outside leverage and see if I can uh, work back to the inside there. But um, maybe that's the call right there. You guard off the inside and make sure everything's going outside. But he's a little bit late on the tick right there, and that's just easy. That's stealing right there. Then he <laughs> still pushes him after the fact. Like, right, come on. Uh, he had a good moment right here, though. All right, let me run through this real quick. This video's getting a little longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, Ringo Hill up at the top. My man Fletcher Cox on the microphone right there. And, oh, they didn't get a replay on this one right here. But this is short down the distance. It's third and five. So a cat like Keely Ringo was on his FBI game knowing that they're probably more than likely going to run the quick game and move the sticks so he could squat on this particular route and then drive on it because it'll just be probably beyond the sticks there. And he does that and gets himself a PBU. That was a hell of a rep. No doubt about that. On this one right here, this shows a lot of the stuff that I've seen from Keely Ringo. This is straight up man coverage right here. And Tylen Wallace would have dug in them buns on this one right here on the back shoulder if um, the quarterback was a little bit better right here. Ringo has a tough time locating the ball right there. And you can see the separation. Uh, Wallace would have easily had that on a back shoulder <laughs> while Keely Ringo still upfield right there. Here we see top of it. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in that right there. Kellamont on the pool here. Now look at this. He's in fantastic position. I've analyzed this every which way, right? My man's got to get some better spikes. It looks like he's unable to bog down because he simply slips. Look at that. You see the, you might be able to see it from a different angle right here. When he's trying to plant here, you can see the dirt coming up out of there, right? Right there. He straight up slips right there. Still, though, you got to be able to gather yourself right there. Justin Evans, he whiffs. My man right here, Turbo and Ozo, Beat Street. Right, he want breaking back in the day. <laughs> he break dancing Turbo and Ozo style right there. And my man right here, bang! Uh-oh. Hunt him down, Brown still hunting him down in the end zone. <laughs> Splock a tie out. He fertilized him, right? Air napped him, right? Hey, I've seen, I've been a part of this before. You hit people in the end zone, I don't know, matter, no matter how close it is, you might start a brawl, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't think Sidney Brown gives a damn. Let's check it out from this uh, angle right here, right? Kellen Mond does a good job of holding the safety there, holding Justin Evans. He fires that bad boy on that nine plane. And look, you see that right there? He's in good position, right? When people talk about his top end speed. He's not getting beat over the top right here. His thing is when he slows down right here, you can see his foot right there, straight out slip. Look at all the dirt and stuff coming out here. Not good at all, right? Definitely want to check them spikes if you're having trouble right there. Damn, Justin Evans flying. <laughs> Come on, Justin Evans splatter whacked himself as well. <laughs> and then the rest was history right there. Hunt him down Brown, though. Oh, forced the fumble Indians home. <laughs> Not a good rep, though, if I'm being honest about the situation. Running man free here. So, meaning uh, cover one with everyone else in man. You get a corner route right here going against the same exact guy who scored on. So imagine that right there, right? You get these guys, they're in down and distance, right? They're in a short down and distance situation right here. Everyone is sucked up, right? Pause, gotta pause that. And that's pretty much leaving him with that man free, right? So really no help over the top on this corner route there. Everybody sucked up and got him. Hell of a play. Absolute hell of a play to come back after that. As you can see right here, this play action really gets him. Second and three, you can see everybody, right? Everybody sucked up right there. And then you get Kellen Mon him pretty much almost like a shot play. There's not going to be any help over the top, and he breaks up the pass on the corner route. Absolute perfection. 
bang, look at that, man. Your boy had to look at right? He had to look at him like, damn, what happened? You see him looking at him? He's like, damn. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. Come on, you can see how tall Eli Riggs is, too. Look at him and McCollum and Scott right there. He's a big corner himself. So, but let's check this out. Off man coverage. Look at him get low in the pedal, right? Come out with the crossover steps. Immediately commit to outside leverage here. So it's an outside leverage. Once he bangs this corner route, this is really not how you teach it. He able to get away with this just from natural talent because you would want to flip those hips in this direction right here. Instead, your man turns all the way around, right? He's going this direction. That's not the best way to do that, but hey, he gets the job done. Turns with him right there, plants on it, then watch, watch the plane that he drives on straight through the receiver. Look at that, stays in his hip pocket, runs through him, uses those long arms, breaks up the pass. Right, he's the one that's out here actually making plays on the ball. You gotta give him credit for that. All right, not a good rep again. This one right here, look at this. Oh, he got muscle relaxed. He got muscle relaxed in the rigor mortis. Right, rigor mortis kept, kept, crept in after he got muscle relaxed. My man really inventive and imaginative right here with this slant route. He plants on the inside foot. Right, and my man, all he could do was stiffen up. Right, he passed away off of a route, off of a route transition. He passed away and then came back. <laughs> Definitely not a good thing, right there. But as you can see what I'm talking about. What happens to him right here? Got to get some better spikes. If you're not, if you're incapable of stopping without skidding like this, right, leaving skid marks the way you have to have skid marks in your draws after somebody passes you by like that. You got to get some better spikes. Not a good rep. All right, watch him in man coverage right here on this in-breaking route. He does a fantastic job. Now, the ball is tipped, but that has nothing to do with his personal coverage because had Kellen Mond been able to get this pass off right without it being tipped, that's a PBU. You see it right there? I remember watching this. You could tell the cameraman was watching Ricks as well because he's following Ricks the entire time where I didn't even realize the ball had got tipped. Watch him transition with the receiver right here. Right? You... On that transition right there, you're able to touch them. You cannot impede jersey progress. If you have to have that space, you see them touch them, then let it go and then drive on that plane right here, driving through the receiver. And he was going to get himself a PBU, no doubt about that, with that left hand there. Defending this stick route right here, he does a damn good job on this one right here. He almost had him one too. Check this out. Low in the pedal, coming up out that bad boy, runs the route for him. He knew it too. Ooh, it too. The ball was a little bit in the, on the inside there by Kelly Mon. Let's sit, check him out from the jump right here. Go on his pedal, not too far over his skis. I like the base width there, right? Look at him getting off, getting off the gate here. All right, first get the shuffle step, and then with the crossover steps, staying in that mirror phase right there. He understood the route coverage. He turned inside when the guy turned inside. Now look. He's able to straight drive on this right here. My man was absolutely lucky that that didn't happen. Because he right on the low on, on the inside right there. And he just so happened he drove on a little bit too much. And it was far to the outside of him. So, damn, he's had what, three, four PBUs. He had a pick six. Uh, he's had some plays out there, man. So, he may have given up a couple of plays. Listen, I don't know if this cat will make the team or not. I don't make decisions on personnel. I'm just covering what I see. So some of you guys out there, man, need to get that hate about your blood. You're wishing for other men to fail because you're fucking miserable in life, right? <laughs> your life didn't work out. Right? You know what I'm saying? They ain't got shit to do with these people that you see on TV, right? So Eli Ricks, if they can somehow stash him on a practice squad and not have him poach, I think he could be very good in the future. No doubt about that. And I'll say it again. He's a more naturally talented corner than Keely Ringo. Keely Ringo is a fantastic athlete, much better athlete than Eli Riggs, but this is not the Olympics. This is football. Uh, you can say what you want to say. If you look at the performances in the preseason, you have to say at the very least it's, easy, it's even, but I would say that Eli Riggs more impactful, right? Keely Ringo's had some blunders as well there, so uh, we shall see. But they all playing for our squad, baby, so shout outs. And salutes to big boys out there, all my homeboys out there, man, in Newark, Christiana, uh, Wilmington, always in South Jersey, baby, the entire South Jersey, Burlington County, uh, Cumberland County, Salem County, everybody, baby, Millville, stand up, 
Bridgeton, Vineland, Cherry Hill, Pensacola, Atlantic City, Egg Harbor Township, everybody, baby, the entire Philadelphia. Uh, shout outs to South Philly, always. All right, I'll have more. Let's get out of here, baby. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.